Hi, it's No Illusion. I'm back. And I'm healed here in Sonoma on someone's private property. And today I'm going to be reviewing this. Crooks and Makers Spiked Tea. We got some several flavors, so stick around and uh, welcome to season three, bitch. Now that I've broke it in, I don't think anybody's home. I'm going to do the seltzer review. I missed you guys. Hope you missed me too. Now... Crook and Maker is spiked tea. They also make lemonade. It's a USD certified organic, whatever that means. That probably means there's a lot of genetically modified vegetables and fruits in this shit. It's $15 at your local Lucky's. And uh, since I haven't done this for a while, I forget how this goes. There's zero sugar, infinite flavor, they claim. And it's the organic super grain alcohol. Comparable to gin, this might get you fucked up. This is the spiked tea. Costs about $15.99. Oh, wow, it's, then there's a uh, Kosovo quinoa. I don't know that A word and millet in this. And let's read what the box says. There's uh, zero sugar, carbohydrates, artificial flavor sweeteners, sulfates, carbonate, zero carbonation. Hmm, so it's not like a seltzer. Let's see, uh, let's see. Our base brew organic alcohol is carefully craft crafted using quinoa. Oh, wow, this is going to be a very interesting thing. Um, nothing on this box says how much the percentage is. So that's interesting. Um, doesn't even say what proof it is, but hey, fuck it. We're just going to dive right into this. It's a nice fucking house that I broke into, isn't it? Okay, set that down right there. Maybe I'll zoom out a little. We're still... Cool. All right, spike tea, zero sugar. Oh my God, I thought that said zero flavor. But as you can see right there, it means infinite flavor. And there's no proof on this. But they do have the normal slim cans, as has been known with seltzers. Um, we're gonna start here with this lemon tea. Oh, okay, there it goes. This is a 4%. This one's 4%, so I think each one's different. Uh, this is a lemon tea, so let's just start with the way we used to do this. All right. Mmm. Kind of smells sweet. Doesn't really smell lemony. Can definitely smell that grain alcohol in there. All right, here we go. Ooh. Ooh. It's really damn good. That, this might give Twisted Tea some competition. Holy shit. So I could re I could smell the grain alcohol. I can't taste it whatsoever. This is really fucking good. The flavor's all there. Um, this is probably better than that Bud Light lemonade crap because Bud Light seltzer sucks. This definitely gives Twisted Tea a run for its money. This is really freaking good. Damn. Might have to come back to that one, but because you believe in me and I believe in you, we're gonna continue our review. What's this one? Oh, Georgia Peach Tea Baby. And this one is also 4%. And I love how every time the box says enjoy responsibly, and I just drink like four of these in a row and then I get wrecked and then let's try this peach one okay mm, that smells like peaches i love peaches personally god damn it's really fucking good too what the fuck i disappear for three months and now i get on the first episode back these delicious delicious Teas. You know why? Because they're teas and they're uncarbonated and they're not seltzer because seltzer fucking sucks. I'm so sick of that shit. I do it for you guys. But these are really good. Really smooth. Very peachy. God damn, this is good, boy. Mm. Damn. And I'll give my rankings at the end. So this, ooh. The black man's favorite. If your grandma never made this for you, I don't know. I don't want to say you're not black, but you're missing out on a lot. And if you're white from the South, you enjoy this shit. Hell, everybody can get down with fucking sweet tea. Glorified sugar water. 
Um, this one's also 4%, so let's just get down to fucking business. I can definitely smell the grain alcohol on this one. I'm definitely worried about this because a lot of sweet teas can go wrong. You can add too much water to the sweet tea, taking away from the sweet. I know if you had McDonald's sweet tea, it's either really, really sweet or really, really watery. So this one smells like grain alcohol, so let's run this up. That's that middle ground sweet tea that I'm talking about. It's not bad. It's not that sugar shit though that we love or that I love personally. This is really damn good. So far so good. I think we have one last flavor and I think it's raspberry tea. A lot of things get, same thing with sweet tea. Raspberry tea can go a lot wrong really fast. But let's just get into it. I'm trying to bang this out. It's Friday and I want you guys to have a great safe weekend. It's been a long tough week for a lot of us. Long couple months actually, especially with the COVID and stuff. But um, I love to make you guys laugh so hopefully we can do this more. And uh, remember, Cash App, Money Sign OG Kui, or Apple Pay, or just, just don't send me money, send money to charities. How about people in the TL? Um, send them to GoFundMe. Just how about people who really need it? I don't really need it. I mean, I'd like it, but I don't really need it. So let's just uh, run up this raspberry tea. It doesn't really smell like anything, so I'm have some high hopes. I tell you, it's not bad, but it's definitely my least favorite of the group. Um, because it has the least amount of flavor, but it's not lacking flavor at all. It's just the least amount of flavor. I thought that sweet tea was going to be the lightest one, but across the board, these are all pretty good. If I had to rank these, give raspberry three out of five. I'd give this uh, sweet tea 3.5 out of five. It's peach tea. Mm. Give it a 4.7 out of 5. It's really damn good. And this lemon one, also a solid 4.5 out of 5. You thought I was going to go 4.7. Peach tea was my favorite. Lemon's coming in um, close. Sweet tea, good third, and raspberry dead last, even though they aren't all terrible. I'm really glad I wasn't disappointed. Um... Let's just all try to be good people. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, rest in peace, Henry. I fucking gonna miss you, dog. You're a true, real one. Um, everybody, just, it's very simple. Just don't be dicks to each other. And uh, be safe. I know California's reopening. Um, just wear your fucking mask and don't be a dick. Thanks for watching. Happy Friday. I will see you guys sooner than later. Happy first post of 2021. It almost took me a month to do it, but I've been hiding. See y'all soon. Drop a like, subscribe, etc. And uh, Kamala Harris is still a cop. Bye.